I, I keep on saying the row isn't about me rowing the Atlantic because I'm doing the whole thing to raise awareness about mental and physical trauma. Mm -hmm. But I have still got to be able to do it to be able to do that. So in two levels, one is because of my leg injury, rowing like a normal body with full mobility and a normal person with full, full mobility would do isn't going to happen. And unless I make adaptions for my leg, mm -hmm. Um, that a bit like a concagua, you know, unless I adapt, it could be a really big barrier. So the work with Lincoln University is kind of crucial in making those adaptions and finding that way of saying how can I, looking at the lack of mobility in my leg, how that impacts on my body and adapting the boat mm -hmm. to compensate for that. Um, the other level is, it's back to that message we're trying to give out, which is how can I? So actually, can I row the Atlantic as a fully functional person would do? No. Mm -hmm. How can I make that achievable? Well, by doing these adaptions. So it kind of really falls in line with the whole message we're trying to put out as well. So on Kelder Wood's first visit, we put her in the motion capture system here, where we can begin to quantify her movement patterns around each joint. As an adaptive athlete, it's very important to be able to see and highlight where she's moving and how and where she's restricted on this movement. So as you can see here using the motion capture system, what I've began to quantify is on the top her left ankle range of motion versus her right ankle range of motion on the bottom. And the first thing you can notice is about 2 degrees range of motion on the left ankle versus around about 30 degrees on her right. This is very important when you're looking at a row in motion where she's using her hip, her knees and her ankles. So we can begin to inform things such as foot plate design to see how she can compensate or how we can compensate with the equipment interaction. And then also any changes in her technique. When she's out on the sea for three months, all of these technical patterns can accumulate. We want to avoid any injuries and also make the task a lot easier for her to undertake. I think it's incredible. And I mean, again, they've done it for so many years without it, but what an advancement it is because I compensate for my leg all the time but I'm kind of not aware of what I'm doing and what impact that has through my body. What this technology is doing is actually allowing us to look at what, what range have I got. So when we're adapting the foot plate, where do we need it to rotate? Where do we need it to stop? Um, without that technology, we wouldn't be able to do that. So it's kind of been incredible to just see, and also to just see, in some cases, it's better than we thought, which just gives you confidence, mm -hmm. and actually where it's not, okay, how do we adapt around it without just sort of guesswork? Because guesswork in the middle of the Atlantic, um, yeah. <laughs>